From the time that I was very young, I always enjoyed education. Um, I have many memories as a child of just being fascinated by the classroom and wanting to help other students. And my elementary school had a program where they would teach children like myself um, to learn sign language and then we would work with other children who were autistic and teach those children sign language. I can't imagine doing anything other than being an educator. I, I work hard, but it doesn't feel like work sometimes. I, I work very hard, but it's because I love what I do. So hours can pass because I feel that the mission we're engaged in is extremely important. My name is Lisa Aguilera Lawrenson, and I have been in higher education for just about 29 years at this point. I currently am serving as the acting president superintendent here at San Joaquin Delta College. My growing up, my parents got divorced when I was very young, when I was three years old, and I have two brothers. So I was basically raised um, by a single mother. And my mother at that time became a college student herself, and she is one of 22 children. She's the first in her family to go to college. And so when I was a, a toddler, I went to college with her. She went to American River College and I went to preschool at American River College. And that had a big influence on me in terms of, uh, I always knew I would go to a community college. I felt very comfortable there because I sort of grew up on a campus. My mom later, after she earned her AA as a single mom of three kids, went to CSUS. And so she has an AA in art and a bachelor's degree in art. So I also went to preschool at um, CSU Sacramento with her. My first real connection with Delta College was when I was working on my dissertation for my PhD. And my study was on the experience of students in developmental English. And so I only spoke to students in my study and I wanted to give advice to institutions based on the student experience. And Delta College was one of the colleges that I um, interviewed students at back in 2006, seven. And at that point, I had never been to Delta College and I was so impressed with Delta. The students described the college in very positive ways. And I found that the classrooms to me seemed at that time kind of crowded and kind of dark, but the students talked about what a warm and supportive environment the college created for them. I also remember that the students were so committed to giving back to the community themselves and thinking about how, you know, how they were going to raise their families here in Stockton and what they were going to do. So I love that. And I also got to go into several classrooms and I really, many of the teachers said, yes, I, I'm happy to participate in the study but I want to know what the results are so I can use it to help improve practice. So that also impressed me. And, and it's also a beautiful campus. Uh, I, the way the buildings are laid out and, and the koi pond and uh, this, this campus has so much to give to the community. And so that was my first experience with the college. The advice for the students at Delta College would be keep working at it and don't get discouraged if you hit a road bump. Um, I always think it's a mistake, personally, to pursue a career based on money only. Money matters. We have to feed ourselves. We need, you know, you want to have a, a roof over your head and, you know, way to sustain yourself. But I think following your passion is extremely important. So pursue something that you love and shoot high. Don't shoot low. Definitely shoot high. I have achieved much more than I ever thought possible. And I would say take time to enjoy your life as well. Don't miss the, the leaves on the tree. Don't miss the sunset. Take the time to you know, be there for your kid's birthday, celebrate with your partner, whatever it is that brings you joy and, and have balance in your life. But you're gonna work hard no matter what. You might as well work hard toward an education and toward um, a career that's gonna enrich you throughout your life. So that's my advice.